Logistics, Premium Carbon Fiber Arrows presents That is by far the deadliest shot I've ever done in my life. These killing sticks. is brought to you by Athens Archery. Live your passion. Western Skies Argo. Alberta Badlands Taxidermy. Kong. 3D Targets. And these other fine sponsors. All right, she's September 18th. Got my camera girl with me, my oldest daughter, Sophia. We're gonna try for some elk again today and moose. Seen a ton of moose in here, so we're hoping uh, if we don't uh, get on the elk, we get some moose. Yeah. Rock and roll. <laughs> okay, it's uh, September 19th. Got a new camera girl with me today, Mona. So we're gonna see uh, if we can get an elk or a bull moose. We went for a little tour. We went to another spot to see if there's any moose on the canola, but no moose. Well, there's cow and calf and some deer, but uh, no antlers. So we're gonna head down here and try this spot again. All right, it's uh, 20, September 22nd, running solo here. A little bit of, just a drizzle here, so I'm gonna keep the camera in the pack and then just carry the stand, which is wherever it is, right somewhere behind me, and carry my bow and see if I can uh, get on a bull moose here this morning. Acorn, my partner in crime, is gonna be up here on Friday or Thursday, and then we're gonna go hard for moose, but uh, maybe I'll get lucky here this morning. Okay, we tried right on the river here. Now we're gonna move back up into this bowl on the riverbank and see we're gonna call from there and then we're just gonna slowly work our way up and call till we get to the field and then the bull will probably be standing in the field. Let's pray. <laughs> Yeah, he's like 35. Oh. Yeah, I got no permission. Where do they live? Yeah, street map. Let's see here. See, that's what we were hoping for. Mm-hmm. Oh, there he's trotting away. He's got a big body, man. Oh my god. 
Killing Sticks. Premium Carbon Fiber Arrows. Well, that was kind of crappy. It was nice to see such a, a beautiful bull, but uh, no permission. So Jason and I watched that bull walk away. We had hunted five days, six days straight there, walked about 40K with no luck. So it was uh, kind of sad to see that bull. But anyway, he went home, Jason went home and I stayed. And then I kept going out every morning looking for bulls. Then October 1st, I see a bull on one of the spots I got permission on. Uh, and he's not moving and I'm watching him you know it's about 10 minutes before legal light and and I, and I realize he's on a cow there's got to be a cow in those willows so I bail out uh, the winds perfect I crawl through the fence with my bow and camera and I keep a bale between me and the bull and uh, I get within about 150 yards and crouch down behind the bale and set up the camera and you'll see what happens
Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. You Yeah! 69 yards, stroked them, watched them fall. Yeah! I love this bow. This is the Ridge, or the Vista 33, man, and it is a smoker. That was awesome. I never called once. I just snuck up to this, and Jason and I tried the same field with a smaller bow. And this bull was curious, I never called, and then when he turned, he was quartering away. Yeah! He's dead right over there. He ran like 150 yards. Yeah! That was awesome. I don't know. I'm just, yeah, now Jay's coming up on Sunday. We can, I can hunt hard with him. Yeah! I'm gonna phone him right now. I'm just gonna let that bull lay there for a second. Ooh, that was awesome. and stroked them, watched them fall. Yeah! Okay, I'm gonna do the walk up here and see if I can find my arrow. The crazy thing is, is he ran towards the road, which is cool. Let's see if this is zoomed right out. Yeah, it is, he ran towards the road. And uh, there was a cow and calf there. He was on that cow, guaranteed. So, was he 69 yards? I practiced that. I practiced out to 90, but I'm just happy I made such a good shot on him. He went, yeah, about 100 yards. And I seen his rack flip over there. So he was standing somewhere here. And now he ran over here. I think that's that's my only second my second bull with a bow. I killed one a long time ago, ten years ago, with a friend. We were elk hunting, and then I shouldered a, a nice bull just like this one. Uh, why is there no blood? Um, and uh, yeah he ran away it went got four inch penetration now it's with a heavy micro I'm shooting the micro LTs now and uh, just that little bit extra speed it's a 420 grain arrow and those old school rocket broadheads from my friend Rick Valdez the killing machine and this bull is laying right over here behind these bales. He flopped. I'm gonna have to look harder for that arrow because those are expensive arrows. Oh yeah, there he is right there. Yeah, he's down. Oh yeah! <laughs> I know it's weird when I drew on him, I wasn't, I was just a little bit excited. After I shot though, yeehaw. Oh yeah, there he is. <clears throat> He's down for the count. Oh yeah, he bled hard. I made a perfect shot, just stroked him. You gotta love it when a plan comes together. Okay, now for Mr. Acorn, it's his turn. 
uh, yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm pretty happy. And it's a beaut, like it's right here on the field. It's just epic, but right on. All right, I'm gonna start uh, working on processing this bad boy. Hey now, it's Calvin here with the Boneyard and Killing Sticks. I uh, got her done here in Alberta solo on this bull. I was, uh, Jason and I hunted hard for like six days. I mean, we were trying and I think we were just a little bit too early, but anyway, it all worked out this morning. The way he was standing and I knew he had to be on a hot cow because he just stood there. And then it was weird. He was like curious. I never called one time and he just walked over. And then when he started to turn, I ranged him at 69 yards and uh, yeah, I made a good shot, which is always what you want. And uh, the old Vista 33 just, it is a sweet shooting bow. I've been, I've been shooting it real well. Uh, I got the Stan SX3, sweet thumb release. And uh, yeah, and the micro LTs right here. <laughs> 420 grains of, uh, of death and destruction. So now I get to uh, work on cleaning this bad boy up, but it's been a great day, great morning so far. <laughs> it's too bad Jay wasn't here with me, but uh, that's just the way it goes. Uh, but still, I'm glad to have one on the ground. Oh, yeah. Right on, rock and roll blood and guts. The Boneyard is brought to you by Athens Archery. Live your passion. Western Skies Argo. Alberta Badlands Taxidermy. Kong, 3D Targets and these other fine sponsors.